right, these are our five flashlights for our thousand lumen flashlight kind of showdown, if you will. Some of these are a little more than a thousand lumen. Um, as a matter of fact, this is the only one that is limited to a thousand lumens. This is the Streamlight Protac 90X. You can tell I've done some serious time on this here. Uh, this is an 18650 flashlight. Just holds one 18650. It's got a good double strong clip to it. And it's an easy construction. We've got our And this, I have it set to low, medium, and high. So that's 5,300 and 1,000. And it's basically just half a tap to there, and that's 50. Two taps to 300. Three taps to 1,000. And let's just say you want 50, you can just click it on. If you want 300, one, two, finish the click out. And then say you want 1,000, one, two, three, finish the click out, and you're on 1,000. That is the Streamlight Protec 90X. This is the Oda Pro NT21. This has got a lock on it. Um, it's ready to go now. It's kind of a awkward flashlight. You got to hold it down, and uh, it'll just go through its modes as you hold it down, and that's the one you get. It's got four different modes. We'll go over the specs on all of these here in just a little bit. Um, it's got that crenulated bezel it's actually a pretty well built flashlight I don't have the pocket clip on this anymore I removed it and used it for something else I don't remember which but uh, that's not a deep, not a bad uh, flashlight you can find them on Amazon again the Oda Pro NT21 it's got a magnetic charger or you can unscrew the back and get to the 18650 battery there. Let's go to the other 18650 um, flashlight in the collection. Again, it's 18650, just unscrew the back. This is kind of my, I don't ever really carry this one um, as far as an EDC flashlight, that bronze gold. This is a County Com exclusive it's the ace beam defender p16 by merit and uh it's in conjunction with meritax it's got that crenulated be bezel there um you click it on and then you use the tail switch to switch between the modes so again i'll go over the specs of these in a little bit and give my light to refocus here after that my camera come back in focus after that bright light uh, we'll go over the specs uh, here pretty soon these are from Maritac this is the triple flood um, you can tell it's just a small little thing I think you can run this off of a triple A but this is actually the 14500 800 milliamp, 3.7 volt. It's got your double clip. I've got the rubber covers that go over this, and I normally keep the red on it, and I use it for traffic control with the fire department. Uh, you just click on one time there, and you got your light, and then you can just go through the modes that way. Double tap it, and you get your turbo. Single tap, you go back to regular hold to go off now if you hold it down you see we've got a moonlight mode again hold to go off it's not a bad little flashlight uh we'll go over the specs of it here in just a second when you get inside this is the meritac peanut xl peanut beast xl excuse me uh this is one of my main edc flashlights i really enjoy carrying this light um You got just this tiny little 10,440 uh, battery here. Now, you can 
unscrew this barrel off here and you um, can get the shorter flashlight and it would end up being you know about yay long it has this tiny little peanut light that goes in there um, cool little light but I prefer to have that triple a size battery in there now a triple a does not work in this i've tried it before it just does not work for this flashlight but same operation as the other mirror attack the tri-flood um you just click to go through double click to get your turbo hold to go off and then hold down to get your moonlight mode um, this is great in the pocket. I had a pocket clip on it and it got pulled off and flashlight fell down in my pocket. Pocket clip disappeared. So <laughs> thankfully this was, I was able to hang on to this. But again, this is my main, one of my main EDC flashlights along with this, uh, Streamlight Protac 90X. So let's, uh, review the specs and, uh, kind of do some benchmarks on these okay here we go we we'll start out with the ace beam defender p16 1800 lumens on this with 484 meters this is the brightest flashlight that i have that i will sometimes carry for edc you can see that's about 100 foot down to that barn down there so this is not the 484 meters um but uh i haven't had a chance to really test it out but you can see the low and then the medium, the high, and then the turbo mode on that. Coming back here to the specs, so you got the 1800 lumen output. It says 484. It goes a good distance. I haven't really tested it out. You click it on, and then you use that tail switch down the bottom. Um, two different ways you can set it up. Uh, I don't have mine set in tactical mode. I haven't really played around with that. I just have daily mode. There is a strobe to it. You see the uh, crenulated bezel there. Um, it is pretty lightweight. I mean, it's, it's not too bad. It will work in your pocket, but it's pretty big for an EDC light. So not really something you're going to carry every day, but it's great to have when you when you got to go out because dogs are barking or you hear a noise outside or something to carry in your vehicle, uh, something to carry in your bag. It is IP68 rated. It's got that two-way clip, but here's your uh, specs on it right here. You got your low, which is 50 uh, lumens, and then your medium is 260, your high is 900, and your turbo is 1800. Strobe is 18700. Um, does pretty good. Now we have the compact tri-flood from Meritech. This is something that I use primarily for the fire department. You'll see why here in a second. As I said, I do carry that uh, red rubber cap to go over the top of it. There's your low, medium, high, and turbo mode. And then this also has a moonlight mode. You can barely see it on that there. It's not a bad little light. Um, it is really small. Um, does pretty good. Uh, it does. It is very bright. It's easy to see. 75 lumens at low, 300 medium, 900 at high, and then 1250 um, on turbo. Now it is thermally regulated, as it said. Um, it does have that little secret mode, but it will throttle down based on the temperature and the battery voltage. So it, it kind of a frustrating feature. I don't really like that, but, and it's not going 310 feet. Forget that. There's that red cap that I was talking about that I always put on the end of it. Really nice. It's easy to see for quite some distance able to flag cars down and such when I'm working traffic at night. County Com does not sell ba batteries with their flashlights, so you got to watch that. Peanut Beast XL. This is my main EDC light. Here's your low, your medium, your high, and then your turbo mode. You can see it's throwing a pretty good distance down there. Um, and then you have a little moonlight mode as well. A little bit brighter than the Tri-Flood, but uh, not a bad little moonlight mode. Nice for walking around the house at night if you need it. Um, very, very small compact light AAA. That charger right there is interesting. You screw the head off, screw that on, USB-C charger. Um, or you can just use a standalone battery charger for the 10 440s. Again, County Calm doesn't sell batteries with their flashlights, so you have to buy those separately. This little rascal is supposed to throw 1,020 feet, 
at 1620 lumens. And I don't know about the 1,020 feet, but I definitely believe the 1620 lumens um, or 16, uh, 15 lumens definitely throws some light out. 7,400, 1,650. It does not last long. That battery is tiny, as I say. It's only about the size of a AAA. So it doesn't last long. You really are going to burn through some battery here. Uh, usually two a week for me. Um, usually charging it twice a week started carrying an extra battery in my pocket just because that is uh, IP68 and it has held up well in my sprinkler business. So uh, I haven't had any issues with that. Um, a pretty good little flashlight. I highly recommend checking this thing out. Um, lightweight, easy to carry in the pocket. The Oda Pro NT21. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I got this one when there were some Chinese companies really pushing hard on Facebook for Amazon testers, so I got it. That's your um, four uh, brightness settings, and then you have a strobe setting as well. It's got that magnetic charger. It's only 56 bucks. You can get that 5% off coupon. Really nice flashlight. Um, I, I normally just carry this in the truck. It is 18650 uh, There you see you got four, uh, five light modes, four just regular, and then one strobe. Uh, I didn't show the strobe in the video on any of these. It's just, I don't really use it that much. So uh, it's got a lockout button on it, and then you just hold down the button, and all the modes will just automatically go through. And then it's got that safety lock, like I said, USB magnetic uh, direct charging, or you can take the 18650 out and just charge it on a regular charger. Uh, not really something I'd normally carry for EDC. It will fit in the back pocket just fine. Um, it's not much bigger, really fatter than the ProTac 90X that I'll carry sometimes. But speaking of that, here we are. This is one of my main flashlights. I love how it's dual fuel. You can use CR123s or the 18650. I have mine set up with the 10 tap feature on low, medium, and high. Um, just single tap for low, double tap for medium, triple tap for high, and then full click it to keep it there. Really nice, really easy to use, very intuitive. Max 1000 lumens. Um, not very bright on the candela, not very high candela. It's more of a flood than it is a like spotlight. So not very good for like defense or anything like that. But Streamlight's a little weird. You have to go into this documentation to get to this here, download the form, but it's got a nice pocket clip on it. I haven't had any issues with the uh, lens on mine. It is kind of scratched up right now. There's that 10 tap programmable switch I was talking about. Um, really easy to use. I That configuration right there, how it's clipped on the Molly, I will do that to a shirt or vest when I'm out fire department if I need hands free works really well I also have a headband up on an Amazon it snaps into I can use it like a headlamp you get 65 300 and 1000 lumen all right guys I hope this was informative to you as we talked about a couple of my uh, high lumen flashlights uh, the ace beam the two Meritax the Oda Pro ND21 and the Streamlight ProTac 90 you all have a good night Mad Dog out